You may have seen an influx in monarch butterflies as you go about your day, but do you know why that is? I spoke with several professionals about it. Here's more. For the past weeks, butterflies have become a popular sight in the Lone Star State. You'll see them on your highways, you'll see them in your flower beds, and these animals take sometimes a few generations to make it their full migration. However, there is a generation of monarch butterfly called a super generation, and that generation their life cycle tends to be a little more expanded. Monarch butterflies pass through the Lone Star State during their migration period. You typically see a very high influx of monarch and queen and long nosed butterflies at the end of September into mid to late October. So we're in the thick of it right now. Over the summer, monarch butterflies were identified as endangered species by the International Union for the Conservation of Nature. However, they haven't been federally listed. The species was evaluated by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service about a year and a half ago, and they did say that it warranted listing, but it is not listed yet. We expect that probably in the next year and a half or so that that process will be formalized. But right now, it's not a federally endangered species. If you would like to continue to see monarchs make their way across West Texas, there are a few things you could do to help them. The uh, easiest ways to do so is by either planting or maintaining milkweed species. These are the plant species that the young caterpillars are going to feed exclusively upon. And there are many programs currently in the United States that will provide individual landowners and homeowners with seeds so that they can plant these native milkweed species. Heritage Park in San Angelo serves as a feeding station for the butterflies. Dr. Ben Skipper says there may be a reason to what attracts butterflies to the Concho Valley. I believe we experience such a large number coming through the city of San Angelo because we're a bright green spot in an area of, you know, otherwise devoid of trees. And so the pecan trees and the live oaks that we maintain in our city provide some stopover habitat for them each night as they're passing south. To see what else you can do in your yard to attract monarch butterflies, visit our website at foxwtx.com. Esmeralda Perez, Fox West, Texas.